welcome. Hey. Nathan, Jen. Hi, Cece. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks I'm for so excited us. you guys are here. Thanks for your email. We're really excited about it. Yeah, me so too. You, you want to do an ice skating rink, huh? I do. It's a little bit later in the season, but I think we can make that work. Right. So typically you want to do it in the beginning of the winter, right after the grass becomes dormant so you don't ruin your lawn. Yeah. But we're going to work with what we have here and we're going to construct it so you can disassemble, put it away for the season, and next season you'll be up and rolling. Nice. Come on in. All right, let's Take it check up. it. Okay, this is the place we dug out for you over here. Nice. All right. This is a really great size of backyard, and I think a rink is going to fit perfectly here. You yeah. don't want it to be too small that you can't skate around. Yeah, you want to have a good usable space. Also, the, the grade looks really good to me from my site. Nice, looks fairly level and easy to work with. Right, and being level is one of the most important things because you want minimum three inch thickness of the ice, right? Yeah. And if your grade is off, it's going to be really high on one side and it just won't work. So yeah. I think this is going to be a great space. I think so too. Let's get some tools and materials out of my truck and get started. All right, let's do it. All right, so these are the key components that we need to put together the skating rink. We have some two by 12 stock, which is nice because it's really tall and gives us some flexibility to level out the ice. We're gonna secure it to the ground with these concrete stakes, these form stakes. These are really cool because they have holes up and down the sides that'll help for leveling everything out. We'll secure that with some two inch screws. Then for some of the joints, we have these mending plates for the flat seams, and then we have these nice corner brackets to, re to secure the outside and then we're gonna secure those with some inch and a half galvanized screws. These you can use a bunch of times, pull them in out, reuse them every year. Got it. And then here we have this special plastic, it's seven mil thick. So what it's gonna do is form the base and it's gonna be able to hold the weight of the ice, right? And another important thing is it's white, so it's gonna reflect the sun. So if it was black, it'd absorb it and right. cause melt. This is gonna be a key part to your rink. So I think the next step is figuring out the layout. Okay, so this rink is going to be 16 wide by 32 long. So let's measure 32 feet down that way. All right. Great. And just wrap it around and pull it tight. Okay, so we're just gonna put this line level on the string to determine our height. And I think that's, that's pretty level. So what we're gonna do now is measure the height of this side of the rink. Okay. All right, so 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half inches. The boards are 12 inches. So the depth of the water, the ice is gonna be 11 and a half inches, okay? three inches on that side. This is top of ice. Yeah. And we're just gonna, we're gonna have to amend this side either from underneath or on top with the wood, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So this is just a simple butt joint here. These are inch and a half galvanized screws. What's nice is they have these big hex heads on them. So when you go to take it apart, it'll be nice and easy. So we wanna make this corner. I'm gonna make it up with some three inch screws first. All right, so we'll put these 90 degree brackets on and this will help to uh, reinforce the corners. So we're gonna use these concrete stakes or form stakes as some people call them. But one important thing we wanna do is drive these down deep enough that this isn't gonna stick above. We don't want anyone to fall on it. Up a little bit more, right there, that's perfect. So we'll screw through the back and then I'll fill the bottom with some two by straw. All right, so go ahead and tuck in that tape with filler there. Perfect fit, Nathan. It's got a pretty close fit. And then I'm just gonna put a block. No good hockey rink is complete without a center line, so I picked up a piece of PVC and I'm gonna spray paint it red. So we also picked up this three quarter inch PEX tubing to form in a circle at center ice. When we lay the tarp out, we're gonna make sure there's at least one foot of coverage over all sides, because when we fill it with water, the tarp is gonna sag down inside and we're gonna need that extra on the edges. I'll 
So now he's got to fill it up with water. This is going to take at least eight hours to fill up and a couple days to freeze. But once it's all set, time to get the skates on and get out here. Time to rock and roll on some ice. My yeah. kids are going to be super psyched. Thank you guys You're so welcome. much You're welcome. for helping with this project. Enjoy. It's awesome. Now that you know the whole process, disassemble in the spring before the grass gets out of its dormancy, and then you'll be good to go and you won't ruin your lawn. All right. All right. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. High and fives. Enjoy. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.